A lot of rain you're getting there down there in Southern California. A lot of people are heading out to the beaches, watching the waves, watching the rain. But there's a chance of landslides and, uh, yeah, flooding. Supposed to get about, what, two to three inches of rain maybe? And these rains often seep down into the faults, creating uh, an easier slip of those fault zones. When you've been having an earthquake swarm there by Borrego Springs, 27 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Have you felt any of these? Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. I appreciate you joining me once again. That is awesome. Please like, share, and subscribe. So stick with me, and I'm going to give you the details of what's going on. I don't have all the earthquakes marked here on this map. On Borrego Springs, located in northeastern San Diego County, California, sits in a highly active seismic zone within the Salton Trough. This area is influenced by major fault systems, including branches of the San Jacinto Fault, which I've got drawn out here. Um, it's a right lateral strike slip fault parallel to the San Andreas, and that would be down over here. Down at the bottom. Yeah, that's that red line drawn out. There's also the Coyote Creek Fault Zone. Let me bring this back up. Which is a sub-branch of the San Jacinto. And there's been a lot of swarms in the past along this fault zone. And we got one currently going on. But a lot of people probably don't realize that part of this fault zone, if it were to rupture altogether, it could create a magnitude 7 or larger earthquake. Historically, you can see I got other large earthquakes mapped out. Uh, 1999, there was a magnitude 6.7. 1918, um, a 6.8. And then farther down towards the uh, Salton Sea, there was a uh, magnitude... Let's see, 6.6, .6, I think it was. Here we got a uh, 6.0. And let's see, this one was a 1954, a 6.4. And a magnitude 6.6 .6 in 1968. They, they actually revised it. It's actually the same one, but two different locations. The uh, 1968 uh, mountain earthquake, the 6.6, uh, .6, caused a surface rupture of about 33 kilometers or about 25 or 20 miles long and triggered over 135 aftershocks. There has been multiple um, earthquakes today um, between oh, maybe a magnitude 1.5 to a 2.5. Here's the location of that. 2.5. Like I said, I don't have them all marked, they're just the larger ones. And it aligns with typical swarm behavior in the region where unreleased stress has built along these faults, um, leading to the bursts of low magnitude events without any clear main shock, which is concerning. When you don't have a main shock, you don't have an aftershock which means that a large earthquake could come sometime in the near future. All these earthquakes have been fairly shallow. Here we can see uh, 1.3 miles, 2.1 miles, uh, 1.4 miles in depth. This one here was 3.3 .3 miles in depth, which means that they could be felt over a wider area. But no felt reports have been sent in to USGS Did You Feel It website. Have you felt any of these earthquakes? I believe the largest was probably uh, the 2.5. Now that one was farther out, um, 6.3 miles in depth. But all the other ones have been really shallow. Together, the Clark and the Casa Loma faults comprise of a straight, continuous zone that extends about 125 kilometers. And if that was to rupture in a single event, which is about 75 miles, it may produce earthquakes that measure a mid-7.0 range. 
Now back on November 7th, there was weak to light shaking reported in Borrego Springs uh, area, um, a magnitude 3.5. Also, there was a 4.2 in March. That one was felt across much of San Diego and Los Angeles, Long Beach, and the Salton Sea. Light shaking was reported as far as Oceanside and Carlsbad. Yeah, and this is all part of a branch of that. Often when you have large earthquakes, it could trigger earthquakes along other fault zones. Um, heaven help anybody if it triggered something for the San Andreas fault zone. Are you prepared or are you just out there enjoying watching the waves of the rain? Are you prepared for landslides because of um, last so, what was it last summer? They had all those fires. Yeah, a 7.0. That's nothing to sneeze at. If you got a threat of such a large earthquake, people should be prepared. And have you prepared? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.